So I'm going to show you how to do the Alex Heiner project. First thing you want to do is go to Google Images and find an image that has some lines in it or planes as in P-L-A-N-E-S, like this telephone pole. Perfect example. It doesn't have to be a telephone pole. It can be anything. And I'm going to um, take my paintbrush and notice that my opacity is at 29%. I'm lowering it um, just because if you keep the opacity low, it gives kind of a cool um, effect where you can, it's light and you can see through it. If I had clouds in this image, for example, having the opacity low would allow me to have the clouds kind of shine through. If you're using, if you're doing this with a paintbrush like I am, um, when you're done painting, if you have it, if it looks a little choppy or messy, using the blending tool, which is the V brush, the second brush, will make it look really nice. So you see, I click on the V brush and I kind of blend it and that will soften anything, any bumps or anything that looks kind of messy. So I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna speed it up. You can also use the paint bucket and select the planes uh, using different colors. So watch as I speed it up. Now, I'm going to take the telephone pole itself and using the paint bucket tool, I'm going to make it blue. Gives it kind of a cool look. I like how it looks. Um, so I'm done, but I think that it needs a little more something. It's not that interesting. It's, it's nice, but it could be a lot better. So here's what I'm going to do. Pay attention. I'm going to put some background images into some of these planes. So to do that, um, I'm going to type in Chicago Skyline. You could do anything really in the world. I'm going to do Chicago Skyline because Skyline pictures, generally speaking, are kind of fun to look at. I'm going to choose this one because I really like the colors. And you can um, save it by hitting the two finger click and save or screenshot it. I'm going to add it as a layer to Klecky and I'm going to fill up the entire canvas and hit OK. Now, in the layers, I need to put it underneath. You see what I did? I put it underneath, okay? Now, if I lower the opacity, you can see it bleed through. So that's one thing you could do. I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Because I know the skyline picture is underneath, I'm gonna go to the eraser tool, and I am going to, very carefully with the eraser, I'm going to erase one of the planes, one of the sections, and I'm going to have the Chicago skyline shine through. Just a tip, if you hold the shift, click, and then shift, click, that will make a straight line and it'll make it look really nice and neat. So you can see with the skyline going through how interesting it looks. I'm gonna make my eraser smaller and I'm gonna get through those tiny cracks and then um, I'm gonna speed it up so you can watch. Now, to make it even more interesting, I'm going to erase, I'm on the layer, make sure you're on the layer with your image, I'm on the layer with the Chicago skyline, and I'm going to erase half of the canvas, and I'm going to put a different picture. I'm going to put a picture of the ocean. So, two, two finger click, save, or screenshot, and I'm going to put the ocean picture as a layer in the second half, and I'm going to erase some of it, so the canvas is sort of half skyline half ocean okay and again you you can do it with just one image or two or half and half like i'm doing now i'm going to go to the layers and you got to make sure that your image where you drew is at the top really important okay so now i'm going to go to my eraser and using the shift click shift click um, i'm going to make sure you're on the top layer now really important layers are important here and I'm going to erase certain sections and shift click, we'll do straight lines. And now you can see the ocean coming through. Okay, so on one half of this, I have the city skyline. On the other half, I have the ocean. I'm gonna speed it up and I hope this gave you some ideas. That's it. When you're done, make sure you hit the blue arrow down and your painting is safe.